On this episode of ATD Garage, I'm going to hopefully show you how to stop your oil consumption on your 2004-2013 Chevy truck LS-based motor. So one of the main um, causes of these oil consumption is the driver side valve cover. Um, it's got the PCV valve. This is a replacement one. Here's the part number for it right here. This is from Dorman. Um, but on the factory valve covers, we'll see when we take it off, there's holes all along this rail. So when you're going down the highway, the rockers will splash oil up into here. And then if you're going down a hill on the same highway, you put a bunch of vacuum because your throttle's closed and it ends up sucking all the oil into the intake. And then when you get back on the throttle, you'll see smoke come out the exhaust or sometimes people will have them in the morning. So they'll start it and their car will smoke like crazy. Um, this is, one, they did a, there's a service bulletin, I don't know the exact name of it, but they changed the design on these around 2013, 2014 um, to this style. And all, usually all the OEMs or the aftermarket um, manufacturers change the design to this style. Okay, as with anything you do under these, this is always the first thing to come off. Just pull up, give it a wiggle. Okay, so once you get the engine cover off, and you probably don't have to remove this wire, but it's just gonna be simple. Just get it done. Stick your screwdriver sideways in like that. You can see this wire loom is quite, well, she's had a couple heat cycles, basically. <laughs> um, once you get that out of the way, this, you kinda don't really gotta worry about it. You'll end up just kinda moving it out of the way later. This is the next wire you wanna go for. Just pull this tab. It can be a little difficult, but just wiggle it out, pull up on this. Okay, so that unhooks the whole coil pack. The only thing you gotta do after that is either pull the wires off down here on the actual plugs or pull them off in the coils. Um, it's probably safer to pull them off in the coils because it's not down in the heat and you might damage a spark plug wire. So just, I would say, just undo them from the coils, just like this. So once you get all these coil wire thingies out, um, pull this wire off, just like that, and that'll expose the five bolts you need. Well, one of the five. So there's gonna be one right behind the alternator, one on the other side of this wire loom, right there, one on the wire we just pulled off, and another one right back, right back where my middle finger is touching. So, and those are all 10 millimeters. Once you get those five off, we're pretty much ready to take the valve cover off. Anyway, like I said, 10 millimeter, these five bolts. I'll zip these off real quick. Now, once you get all those out, make sure you don't got any more wires in your way. These ones are going to be kind of annoying to get out of the way, but this whole thing will just come off. Just like that. Coil packs, or pack, whatever you want to call this. So now you can see we've got all these bolt holes. And if they're leaking, like this one is, perfect time to do this because you'll get brand new valve cover seals. All right, once you get your coil packs off, reach back here. You don't have any stupid clips on this PCV hose. So you just lift up and it will just pop right off. You just kind of set it aside. Okay, get a 5 16th. I'm sure that whatever, whatever the metric equivalent is, I think they just happen to be the same size or they actually use 5 16th because Chevy's weird. Um, all you gotta do is simply uh, Buzz these guys out. And the bolts will stay in the valve cover, so you don't gotta worry about taking them out. Also, get yourself a set of some wobble extensions. These will help you out immensely for things. Now, we play the game of how tight is the valve cover going to be on? 
Can we remove it by just prying on it? Or are we gonna need some leverage? We're gonna need some leverage. Okay, so if prying on it doesn't work, very gently get the screwdriver in there and give it a slight twist. There it goes. You don't want to twist too hard. You don't, or you don't want to stick it in there too far and twist it because this is aluminum and this is a steel screwdriver. You don't want to damage the, the, the seat, or the seal, whatever you want to call it. You don't want to rock it because this one is El Stucco. There we have it. Well, fortunately, well, this car somehow has the updated valve cover. Looks identical to this one. Um, this factory. This factory. Made in Mexico. Made in Mexico. This one doesn't say, so it's probably made in China. Um, but either way, the valve cover seals were starting to leak. Um, so we'll just change this out anyway. I'll show a picture up on screen of kind of what the old ones look like if yours has that so you can just pop yours off see if you have the old one and put it back on and order it you could do that since apparently i mean this isn't supposed to be fixed so she bought it used so maybe they had it fixed back in the dizzy so anyway we're gonna slap this on and uh that's pretty much it make sure um when you are doing this that your crusty wire loom pieces doesn't fall in your valve springs don't really think it will matter too much because it'll just get squished by everything, but get all the pieces out that you can if this happens to you. Real common issue. Real common issue, apparently. Just don't breathe on that and you'll be fine. Okay, so we got the uh, cylinder head valve cover mating piece cleaned off. Um, got all the Scudge. Yeah, it's a little scudge off of it. So, you know, make sure no bits from your crusty wire loom fell on your motor. And it's not the end of the day if it does. I really don't think it drains right into the oil pan after this. And that's what an oil filter is for and a pickup screen. You just don't want to plug either of them. So, keep that in mind. Anyway, this is going to be exciting to say the least. Maybe the most difficult part of this whole operation, in my opinion. If the valve cover gasket stays. Yeah, sort of. Mostly. So once you get them snugged up, get a torque wrench out, or just do it by feel. You want 89 inch pounds. We don't we don't really trust Mason with uh, torque specs. No. Nope. Ever since the incident. <laughs> so uh you know that's why I'm in here doing it. Those are torqued. Put the coil pack back on. Plug it back in. We're freaking good to go. Meep. Mason either torque stuff to uh remove with an angle grinder or remove with the road. <laughs> so keep that in mind. Okay. Anyway Thank you guys for watching on how to change your crusty, yucky, leaky old valve cover on one of these here rigs. Uh, if you enjoyed, check out our other videos. Uh, if you want to see more like this, click like, subscribe, and uh, see ya.